we're moving out of an old space. We're starting to move into a new space today, kind of start a new chapter. We've just finished our record and we need a new place to write our next chapter of music, including the stuff for with the music. collaboration with Liquid Music and Stargaze is going to be, um, there's a lot of unknowns about what it is going to be at this time. The police is very loud and, and percussive and electronic. Stargazers, for all intents and purposes, made up of real instruments. And so it's going to be an interesting challenge of even just trying to blend two drummers with instruments like violas and violins. So yeah, it'll be uh, very interesting. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? What do you call music that fro... Try again. What do you call music that flows freely across the borders separating pop, rock, jazz, and classical? At the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra, we call it liquid music. And this podcast, Liquid Music Playlist, is the place where you can tap into it. My guest this time is a multifaceted performer, Chani Lena. This year, Chani and Polisa are embarking on a new project for the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra's Liquid Music Series, a commissioned collaboration with the Berlin-based new classical ensemble Stargaze and conductor Andre de Ritter. Chani, thanks for sitting down with us. Yeah, happy to be here. Just tell us about this project. We have yet to meet Andre de Ritter. We've emailed and we've... Shared sound files? And yeah, like that. and kind of asked each other some questions and stuff. Do you know what uh, what Stargaze and what uh, Andre de Ritter are actually going to be contributing to the project? Have you guys worked that out yet? Some things that we've talked about that we don't want to do is we don't want to send them completed police songs that, that they add strings to. Um, <laughs> police with strings. Yes. We don't want that. Yeah, yeah. We, we want it to be truly <laughs> collaborative. <laughs> Whenever you embark on something that already has like a, an end date in sight, there's the temptation to kind of let the pressure uh, overshadow the creative energy. I'm excited to just try to forget about all of that and play with people that I've never met before and make new sounds that we've never made before and to challenge ourselves in new ways we haven't. So. Andre Ritter in November for the first time, so I'm really looking forward to meeting him in person and just talking about the project and just getting to know each other. 